their grandmas, their sisters. This Christmas, 12,000 of these tiny boxes will be wrapped into 1,000 gifts to go to women all over the country. It's a full circle because our nation's heroes want to give back to their heroes here at home. They knew I was going through a hard time. To say things have been tough for Army veteran Joey Hernandez would be an understatement. Joined the Army at 27 deployments, lots of friends that are dead. I almost died, got out, uh, depression, PTSD, you know, not having a vehicle stuck at the house, uh, no job, uh, wanting to succeed, but just really the world coming down on you, keeping you down. Justin Cogswell has heard plenty of heartbreaking stories just like Hernandez's. I'm one of the veterans that um, we're getting ready to help, for example, is an Army Ranger. Um, he doesn't have a vehicle, so the evening before work starts, um, he's been getting dropped off at the job site at 8 p.m., and he's been sleeping in the woods in a sleeping bag so that he can get to work the next morning. A veteran himself, Cogswell saw the great need when he went through his own struggles. What I found was that although there's a lot of organizations doing good, there were none that could really fix my immediate problem, which was that I needed a vehicle in order to get to work and appointments. It's his personal experiences and the stories of so many others that motivated Cogswell and a group of volunteers to start Operation Clean Out to build up. They restore furniture, tools, even cars for veterans in need. That brings us to this special moment Tuesday night. Hey, someone out here is parking the fire lane? The green car? The him they're pointing to is Hernandez, who had no idea he'd receive a vehicle. I've uh, been to the lowest of lows. Everything past that, so uh, just not quitting is a way for me to tell other people. You know, you can get through whatever you're going through. You may not hear their cries for help, but their sacrifices are real. Those stories are always the tearjerkers for me. The great news is that Operation Build Up continues their hard work. They were stored and gave away 26 cars in 2017. Now, they've been able to move to a new, bigger space, and they hope to gather even more volunteers to grow that to 50 car giveaways in 2018. There were so many amazing people that we highlighted in 